What's going on everybody? I'm back with another Tesla video for you guys. And this one, I'm gonna talk about the constant notification. So this was actually added to the Tesla app at the end of August. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna explain to you a few things, uh, what it does, why it's there, how to remove it, and most importantly, why I am removing it. And my reasoning is really good. And make sure you guys watch to the end uh, to see why I'm removing it. So. Uh, this video will only work specifically for people that are running Android Oreo or higher. So that'd be 8.0 or higher. And I'll explain why uh, later on in the video. So what does it do? Uh, it's pretty simple. It tells you the name of your car. So mother Franker. underneath that, it says the status. So my car is connected right now. Otherwise it would say unconnected or disconnected. And uh, below that you have three buttons and they're all red. So unlock front trunk or frunk and rear trunk. Uh, they're really fluid and they work really quick. So I'm going to hit unlock and you can see it says lock because my car is actually uh, unlocked right now and I can lock it and it's really quick. It flips back and forth. So pretty much that's all there is to it. That's all it does. It shows your status and these nice three buttons. Uh, so I'm going to tell you why it's there. Why did they add this at the end of August? So prior to August, there's a lot of problems connecting the phone constantly to the car. So you'd walk up to your car, open up the door, and the door would be locked still because your phone was not connected to the car. Uh, the phone app would shut down in the background and it wouldn't be able to like turn itself back on in time for you to like walk up to your car and open up the door. So Tesla needed a way to have the app constantly run. So in order for them to have it always running in the background, they needed to show a notification saying, hey, the Tesla app is always running. So instead of having a notification saying Tesla uh, connected or whatever, they decided to add a little bit more functionality to it. So they added unlock front trunk and rear trunk. So they basically added it to make the connectivity to the car better. So you don't have to pull up the Tesla key card as often. Uh, that Again, this was at the end of August was when they made this change. So it's been a while, uh, but that's pretty much why they added it. Uh, since I got this... Uh, constant notification it's improved tremendously my connectivity so i don't really pull up my key card uh very often if ever and uh yeah it's been a great improvement so i'm going to explain to you how to remove it and while i'm in the removal screen i'm going to give you a bonus tip how to make the app work better so we're going to go back here uh i have my tesla app here you hold your finger down on it and you click app info uh, you can also get to the screen here if you go down uh you go to settings uh, apps, and then I haven't under recently opened up apps. Uh, you can also go to see all apps and you can open it up that way, but I'm going to click, uh, the Tesla app here and we're back on the same screen. Uh, so on the screen, you have a bunch of stuff. I'm going to give you the bonus tip first. Uh, if you scroll down you go to battery, uh, battery optimization, you want to have the Tesla app not optimized for your battery. It just makes it run better while it's in the background. So if I scroll down, you can actually see Tesla not optimized. Uh, if it's not on this not optimized screen, you might have to go to all apps, find it, and then uh, make sure it's not optimized. So uh, that's just like your bonus tip, but uh, let's get going to this constant notification. So let's go get rid of it. Uh, we're gonna hit back again, and we're here. So you have this, thing that says notifications on. And I know what you're thinking, you don't want to shut it off. You still want notifications from the app. So it'll tell you, hey, someone unplugged the charger or it started charging or a uh, new notification from the Tesla inbox or whatnot. Uh, you still want all of that. So on Android Oreo and higher, they added in notification categories, which Tesla actually utilizes. So there's notifications, which is the battery, the inbox, and all that other stuff I was talking about. And then there's phone key status. So you can see the constant notification for the phone key status is up here. The minute I check this off, this will disappear. So check it off, it disappears. The app is still running in the background. You're just not seeing the constant phone key status. So you still have the added benefit of having the app run constantly in the background, but you don't have to have the phone key status uh, constantly displaying. It just makes the top cleaner. So two reasons why I removed it. Uh, the first one is 
I've seen it question online quite a bit asking, hey, is there a way to remove it? I want to make a helpful video. Uh, more importantly, here's a quick sneak peek. I actually did this in Tasker, so it's like my own control panel, and I'm able to start the climate based off temperature outside and do all sorts of really cool things. So I didn't want to have two of the panels popping up in my notifications. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you are subscribed, like the video, comment, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Let's go.